Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sly in. Just watched the game <laughs> for the third time already. <laughs> Kept rewinding it. Watched it over again. And I want to talk about who I thought did the best out there. Because I look at individuals. I look at during preseason, it's all about individuals. Who's performing well? Who's looking good? What guy has a chance? And if you guys look good, man. I thought Ronaldo Green played pretty good. Some plays, you know, he missed uh, some assignments. But overall, I thought he did good. Nice, sticky coverage. I thought Jordan Mason, dude, this guy is awesome. This guy is going to have a big season if they give him the damn ball. Give him a chance. Give this dude a chance. He's ready to have a prime year. He's just starting to enter his prime. He's looking good. A uh, few other guys, D winners. He's looking good. Did he miss a few tackles? He did. He's so young. He's still raw. But man, he could fly. This dude could fly. So there's a lot of lot of good things to take away. But the guy watching the film right now, three times already. Dominique Pooney baby. Dominique Pooney. I'm gonna say right now, he's looking like the second best offensive lineman on this team. The second best behind Trent Williams. He was freaking awesome. And he was going up against a lot of starters from Tennessee. Tennessee had their starters the first few drives. They had their starters. And Dominic Pooney, his run defense was awesome. He was pushing people back. I can't wait to see what this PFF grade was. Because what I saw, he looked really good. The way he pushed Jordan Mason into the end zone. Get your ass in there. <sighs> Man, that was awesome. This dude should be the starter. This guy has to be the starter. And in pass protection, that's what he's known for. He was up, what, left tackle over there at Kansas. Uh, had one of the best grades out there. Now he's being right, playing right guard. It, it's easy, man. It's looking, it looks easy out there for him. So, <laughs> I mean, to me, no question. He needs, a, he needs to be the starter. Who, who is he going up against? He's going against Spencer Burford, who's hurt right now and Let's be honest, he's not he's not good. He's he's not good at all. And then you have Feliciano, who actually was good last year, but he's older. He's already dealing with injuries. Dominique Pooney, throughout training camp, we were hearing so many good things about him. This guy, he has a chance of starting. He pretty much going with the starters um, all training camp. And you haven't heard one really bad thing about him. One-on-ones, he's winning. 11-on-11s, um, 11 he's looking the part. Um, I think I only heard a few times where he lost one-on-ones. I think Malik Collins got him once with a spin move. Other than that, this guy's been awesome. This guy's been <laughs> as advertised, you know, third round pick. It looks like we could have hit. We hit there. It's, it's looking really good, man. A lot of times rookies, their first game, <laughs> we've seen it all the time where a lot of rookies, they, they can't show up. They can't show out. And this guy's made, made it look easy out there he was dominating just i saw one play where he just got a dude and pushed him like three four yards back um a defensive lineman I'm like oh my gosh this is exactly what will he's such a big dude you know uh tall i'm like is it gonna work out you know the last big guy that was that big that was playing guard for us um who remembers alex boone Alex Boone was never that physical. I liked Alex Boone with the hardball years. This guy is freaking nasty, man. So, I, I mean, I was, I'm jacked up, man. I just finished watching more the tape again. Third time, I'm like, dude. That's awesome, man. So, I think I think we have a right guard, man. I think we have a right guard. Hopefully, that progression goes keeps going up, man. It keeps going up. It keeps Doing what the hell he's doing. Whatever he's doing, keep doing it. I know one time in a practice, we were hearing that Chris Forrester <laughs> told his ass off. Chris Forrester's always going to go after the rookies. You know, he is. And it was about the run blocking scheme. He didn't do something right. Um, maybe he learned his lesson already. Because he freaking, he was awesome, man. He absolute looks the part. So that's that was my concern going to the offseason offensive line offensive line offensive line and i personally i thought 
we didn't do it enough to address that. Like, dude, you're really banking on a rookie puny. But dude, shit. <laughs> if this works out, it's gonna be an upgrade, man. It will be an upgrade. And then you look at center. Maybe you could put Feliciano at center, man. And that that's a, that'll be another upgrade right there. And Colton McKivitz, you know, I'm not even sure he played, but he's been he's been getting worked. He's been getting worked uh, all off season from Leonard Floyd and Nick Bosa. He's just getting destroyed. I know those are two top end dudes, defensive ends, but I mean, once in a while you want to see him block someone. So who knows? Maybe Jalen Moore. Who I don't even know if he played I, at all. I really didn't see him in there. But maybe he could come in at right tackle. So all of a sudden, we have one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL last year. It could turn, man. It could turn into a better offense line. And then you add in guys like Ricky Purcell, Slick Rick, Cowing, um, a prime Juwan Jennings. You could be looking at even better offense than last year. So this pick right here, Pooney, it's so important to hit. If we're able to hit, you could do so many things at that offensive line. You could do so many things at that offensive line. So I'm pumped up, man. I, I'm I know we lost the game. Who cares? You look at individuals. But man, this dude from Kansas, man. And I was excited about other players, too. Like I said, D-Winners, I thought, played really good. I thought he played really good. Yes, like, again, he missed a few tackles, which I, I noticed. I noticed everything. But overall, I just, I thought that he played well enough. You know, I thought he was our probably our second, third best standout from this game. You know, I thought he played great. But it was Pooney, man. Pooney, I thought, was the best player. No, I'm not, not even, not even, not even rookie. I thought overall... He was the best. Like, he was the dude that was, like, pushing people. Allen, he had all day to throw. He had all day to throw other than that first play. Who remembers that first play? It was a blitz up the middle. Um, who was center? I don't – it was freaking – I'm trying – it was Nick Sakal at center. And who – I don't know who was playing right guard, but it was a blitz. They both picked up a dude, and right away – Boom, instant pressure. And I, I kept looking at that place like, oh, whose fault is it? It was a blitz, man. It was just, you have to go the hot route, the hot route there. And, uh, <clears throat> but other than that play, Allen pretty much had all day to throw, man. And it was, overall, the offensive line played well. They played really well. I was very impressed uh, what, how we how we uh, looked. Second half, it was a little more sloppy. Uh, Dobbs under pressure, but as far as individuals, man, it was all Pooney, and just hit, man. I just, I want this pick to hit, because this, so far, this draft's looking so good. Ornardo Green looked good. Uh, Pooney looked amazing. Malik Mustafa looked freaking awesome out there. Even Bethew, Bethew, uh, the seventh-round pick from Florida State, uh, he actually looked promising, too, so, and we didn't even see Ricky Purcell. So, overall, this draft class looking pretty solid. You know, it's looking pretty solid. If we get a few hits, I screw it. I want all our guys to be hits, but if we could get these guys to hit, man, get your popcorn ready, man, because we're gonna have this is gonna be one of the most debt that we've had in quite a while. If these guys could step it up, but overall, <clears throat> good game, and uh, yeah, man, me making more videos about this because this pumped me up. I think. This guy is going to help out protect Brock Purdy this season. So that's what I got, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.